at a local coffee shop to pick up a coffee because today we're gonna have the best day ever because why? Six months. It's our six months today, so we're gonna celebrate all day. Good morning, beautiful people. So for my outfit today, I'm just wearing my Ritzy tennis dress and then these new sneakers that I got from Goat. And then I just paired them with my TNA socks from Ritzy because they're the perfect length. For coffee, I just ordered an iced vanilla latte because I wanted something really simple. And it's probably what I would have made if I was home anyways. <laughs> I will say that it is nice to have my coffee made for me this morning because we both know that I love to make my lattes in the morning. So this is a real treat. And I'm really happy that we got up at a good time. We were up at like 7 a.m. So we were able to go on a walk this morning, which was super relaxing to just get ready, go spend some time outside and have some alone time together. And then we went to go get our coffee. All right, let's go to the store. Guess what you guys, bag secured. I finally found a pair of shoes that I really like. I went to like a department store near me because the outlets that are closest to me weren't gonna be open till just now. So I needed to go a little bit earlier than they were gonna be open. Plus it's also a little bit of a drive and I wasn't really willing to drive that far, but I was able to pick up these really cute wedges. So I'm really excited to wear these tonight. They were super cheap, literally $30. They didn't have any like short nude heels, but I'm excited to try these. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head home and then get my suit on and get ready to go surfing. About to make some yogurt just as a small breakfast before we come home and have lunch. And sorry, you can kind of hear laundry going on in the background, but I just wanted to say I went back to Chobani because the Too Good Yogurt is more expensive than Chobani and I feel like this one actually tastes a little bit better. It's not as tart as the other one. It's honestly not even worth it to pay for that to me even though it's like a dollar difference, but I really needed to use up these raspberries that I have too. I'm pretty sure Luke will be home any minute. He has an electric bike that he rides and yesterday he found out that there's a flat tire and he didn't know because he hasn't been riding it. But then when he went in the garage yesterday, he found that the bikes had fallen over because the flat tire made the bike fall and then it knocked the other bike over, so it made this loud noise. And so he was kind of upset about the flat tire. And I said, well, you should look and see if something got stuck and there was a staple stuck in the tire. So today he blew the tire back up to ride to the bike shop. So I hope that he made it, which I haven't heard anything, so I'm pretty sure that he's fine. For the beach fit, I'm gonna wear this black two-piece um, from Target and then this thrifted dark teal color button up. I'm just realizing I need to put those blankets away. Mm. So good. So good. So currently fixing my nails because they got ruined from surfing yesterday. So I tried to fix them really quickly because we're currently headed out and I can't vlog this part of the day, but I will vlog when I am getting ready for our date night tonight. So I'm really excited about filming a get ready with me. So today after we went surfing, we uh, went to the shop and we ordered, well we ordered pizza ahead of time. So we went back to the shop to drop off the horse and we went to go pick up pizza for like some of our friends. And then we went back to eat with everybody. I was running around Publix in a towel because I needed to go pick up sweet tea. But anyways, after that, we just spent some time watching some Kelly Slater videos. Before we knew it, it was kind of late. So we decided to come home and jump in the pool and it was like storming during that whole time. So it was really nice to be in the pool while it was raining. That's one of our favorite things, I think. So that was really special. And then we kind of were just relaxing and being lazy. But now we need to get moving because we have plans today. I'm also thinking for my trip that I don't want to get my nails done because I've really been enjoying short nails. Like there was a really long period in my life where I was just getting SNS and well first it was acrylic and then it was SNS which is dip. SNS is like the dip powder. And I know that a lot of people have been doing gel X or hard gel or like the Russian manicures, but there's nowhere around me that does that. And also I don't really feel like paying that much. And I kind of enjoy doing my own nails. Like I used to do it a lot when I was younger, but it's become very therapeutic for me recently. And I think they're just 
gonna get stronger because I don't have anything on. And I'm not using the drill on my hand. Hey! You to go. Okay, I'm like on my last finger. Oh wait, I gotta show them what my nails look like. All finished. They look so much better. I set you up super close. Um, but I'm getting ready for our date tonight and I'm just gonna start out with the Laneige lip mask. I'm not really sure what I want to do for the hair. I was thinking slicked back, but it also hasn't dried all the way. So I feel like that would be the easiest option, but I'm not really sure what I want to do. I think I'm gonna do a ponytail with a piece that wraps around. Do I have any bobby pins? Let me grab one. Hopefully I only need one bobby pin. So I don't have a like soft bristle brush to do the slip back, but I have a one like this. So hopefully, well, I usually use that. I feel like that's pretty even. Okay, but I think it'll turn out fine. Let's spray. Oh, I get to use my wax stick that I talked about in my pack with me video. I wish I could answer like a Q&A during this because I'm not really sure what to talk about when I do videos like this. My hair is so crazy because the chlorine kind of dries it out. I thought I was gonna have time to really do it, like curl it or something or straighten it. Is that a joke? <laughs> I had another wet brush like this that's never happened before. It's so sad. I'm gonna wet this brush. Hopefully that'll help to smoothen it out a little bit. So you basically just push up on the bottom and do that. <laughs> it's like as simple as that. It just keeps your flyaways down. So I've been doing this combination lately. Um, I'm gonna start with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm going to do one dot on the inside and then one in the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm going to take the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. And this is in light medium, so it's a little bit lighter than my concealer. But I'm gonna do just under the eye just to balance out the color because I lost a little bit of color on my face. The past couple of days, it's been storming in Florida, so I haven't really gotten a lot of sun. I'm just gonna blend that in with my fingers. And then I like to go back in again with NARS. I feel like this concealer is super creamy and it doesn't dry out my skin because I think the Tarte Shape Tape one was drying out my skin and I could tell after a couple hours of having it on. I like to put a little bit under my nose area because I have a little bit of discoloration there. I did a little bit on the upper inner corner of my eye because I look so tired today. But that's it for concealer. That's like all the face makeup that I do. So the next thing I'm going to do is set the concealer with Laura Mercier. If you're even wondering, I'm using the Morphe M536 brush for this. And I just use the excess to go over where I put the rest of the concealer. I'm just gonna make sure there's no excess sitting in my face. So I'm gonna take this same brush and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the top of my cheekbone. Just a really light layer, like barely any, honestly. I'm gonna dust a little bit on the top of my eyelids. Obviously you can tell that I've used it quite a bit. I've hit pan on both the outside colors. I'm going to use the Morphe M427 brush for my blush. I'm gonna use the color Fearless and Woody. Kind of mix those together. And I'm gonna apply this on the top of my cheekbone. I like to pinch the brush like this and flatten it out and then use the center to get my nose because I like to know where I'm putting the product. Yes. I'm going to be folding laundry in your room. Really? Hey! What? Thank you. Okay. That's that for blush. I mean, actually, let's pretend I got a little bit sunburned today. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is eyebrows and then eyes and then lips and I'm finished. 
I used to use the Benefit Brow Gel for my brows, but now I just use a little pencil, a L'Oreal pencil that I literally get at the drugstore because I'm telling you people, it is not worth spending $20, $30 on brow gel. I want it to look as natural as possible, but just so that you can see my eyebrows. <laughs> I used to tint my eyebrows at home. We well, used to get them done and then I used to tint them. And then I realized I didn't like how I looked with that dark of eyebrows. And it was matching my root at the time. I just realized I looked better with my natural color. I also don't have a viewfinder that pops out on the side of my camera so I can never see like what's in the frame. So if I'm not in the frame during any of this, I'm sorry. But I think I, for the most part, have learned just through training myself by what's in front of the lens. Also, if you're wondering, this silk robe is from Victoria's Secret. I think it was, actually, I don't know how much it cost, but I got it a really long time ago. I'm going to use the L'Oreal telescopic because I swear, this stuff is unreal. Just works so well, I don't even know why. It is like the best mascara I've ever used. And I've used a lot of mascaras. Like, do you see the difference? That's crazy. The past couple of years, I've just felt like I look better with just mascara on the top of my eye. I mean, my top lashes. Okay, I feel like that's good. If you don't know where to start with lips, I suggest, and you don't like the feeling of having much on your lips, which is definitely me. I have tried lip gloss and whatever. Um, I just don't like the feeling. There are some days where I will decide to do that if I really want more of a glam look, but if I want a more subtle mood and natural look, I'll definitely just use lip liner. And the NYX lip liners are only $4, so they're so amazing because of how cheap they are and the quality of the product is really good. And you, I just grabbed mine at Ulta, but I'm gonna use the color Mauve and which one? And Nude Pink. All right, we're gonna go in with the color Ever on the top instead, I changed my mind. I'm just going to also add, I know this is a lot of colors, I'm sorry, but plum is a little bit, well, it's very dark, but it doesn't come out as dark as it looks. And so I'm just going to touch up the top and the bottom just to deepen the color because I decided I want a little bit of a deeper lip. I love doing that with the liners because you can come up with any shade pretty much just by mixing a bunch of liners. I know I had a bump in the back of my hair. I just wanted to let you know that I fixed it. <laughs> this is the outfit reveal for tonight. I did stick this white tank top underneath because it's a little bit see-through for this color because I know they have more colors. This outfit is from Shopo. I ordered it online. I got it in a US size four or a size small. This outfit is super comfortable. I feel like I'm in PJs. I didn't go with a necklace for this outfit because I felt like the earrings were already a lot going on, but rings, I'm just wearing my everyday rings. So both of my Tiffany rings, this one is from one of their collections that my sister got me. And then this one is, it's all twisted, but this one is the Tiffany ring that Luke got me as a promise ring. But can we also talk about how cute these shoes are with this outfit? They go so well. So people wedges, they need to make a comeback. I love this outfit and I will see you at dinner.